your email signature in Gmail, go to the option panel uh, that's a sort of second from the top on the right, go into settings and when you're in the settings scroll down to signature and um, you can either have no signature or you can have a signature turned on. Um, in my case I've got one already there so I've deleted that in case uh, you want to see starting from scratch type in my name, my phone number um, that doesn't have any spaces in it so that people can just click on that with their mobile phones and it dials straight away. It's harder if, to do that if it has spaces in it. Um, you can type out your uh, email address again if you want. Um, and also uh, your website. Now, to do your website, just open up a new tab open, and go to your website and uh, copy the URL from there. and um, put your website in, uh, paste it in there. You can add that as um, a link. So um, the link's there, so that's good. Go to Design Kink. I don't need the HTTP in front now because it's linked. Um, if you've got any other websites, add them in there. Um, and easiest way is just to go to the website. Then you know it's linking for real. Um, copy the address up there and paste it in. Make sure that that's gone in as a link, which it usually does automatically. And um, so there we've got the name, phone number, email address. You can put in any alternative um, email addresses that you might have if you want. Um, put in one here. Um, what have we got? Uh, at uh, what's this one outlook.com just in case gmail's down which I've never really seen it ever do it's nice to have an alternative um, you can also put in you can style all your text obviously up here in the panel and you can insert um, an image um, you can either do it by the uh, you'll have to do it by the URL so um, if you've got a website up and running um, you'll probably already have a um, an image there in this case I do have one so I'm just gonna copy that link and paste the URL in there oh it's linking to the um, website I copied the link not the um, not the image so we'll go back to the website again and this time I'll actually copy the um, where is it? Copy the image address and paste that in. Okay. And that looks like it's taken, except um, I'm just missing my um, OK button, so I'm just going to press the Enter key. Uh, that worked. And um, that's just because we couldn't scroll down to the bottom of the screen there. Bit of a bad user experience thing, but you can get around it by pressing the Enter key. Um, and so look, I've got my image, um, my name, everything like that. Now, um, I've got the option to make that small, which is good as well, because um, otherwise I would have had to have found an image that was smaller because that was too big. Um, okay, that looks good. So I'll sa save the changes. And uh, when I compose my mail, that should be in there. Um, I actually personally choose not to use... Um, uh, image on on my email. Um, I'm quite happy with just the with the text. So I'll just go back in there and remove the image. Um, most people like to have images in the in their email, and um, generally it works across browsers. And there's other different ways too. You can make it work across browsers if you want to get more advanced. Um, but personally, I'm just happy with text on on my signature on my email signature. So um, I'll just save it again like that. And, um, yeah, you can have your, yours however you want. All right. Um, thanks for listening. Ciao for now.